Alright, let's get back into the game. Um, also, babe, I forgot to, um, I forgot to close my door. I'm sorry. Just had to hear me. Or do that. Hey, look, a well. Let's see what's in here. Oh! A quest! Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright caps, present. Alright, that's everything. I'll jot it down. What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course! I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique system of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well, enthusiasts, just get it. Feel of a good well, that is. Wow. My dream is to travel around every single well throughout Hyrule. After scurrying all the ancient texts, I can find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Oh, wow. good lord. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Tell me of any well locations you know of. Oh. I'll reward you, of course. How does 10 rupees per location sound? You got a deal. Ah. Alright then, tell me everything. Oh, these are the wells I've found. Ma. Thanks, so four of them this time. Give you 10 rupees. Ooh, okay, so there's incentive for finding all these wells. 54 oh. to find. My wells all over the place, in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist without ruins, or within ruins. Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that long time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? I'm going to Lookout Landing next, and there's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Alright, so tons of wells. I need 54 wells. Jesus. Ooh, ooh, fairies. I love fairies. Frogs. Sticky frog. I need these fairies in my life. That one tried to get away. Back down. Fairy, please. Come down. Come on. I need you. I need you to come down here. Come to butthead. Where is it going? Lie down, you piece of shit! There we go. Come on. A little further. Gotcha. Grab some more sticky frogs. Got him. Okay, I gotta remember I can get I can get fairies here. That'll be huge in the future. is made of wood? It shouldn't be made of wood. 
I mean, the handle is, but the top is metal. Let's feed the dog. Um, uh, what does a dog want to eat? Apples. Here, doggy. I got you some apples, doggy. He's a good boy. Want another apple? There's a bunch more. Eat all the apples, then you take me to the treasure. Oh, he's very happy. Where's the treasure, boy? Give me to the treasure. The good dog. Oh, it's like right there. Giant boomerang. Hey, yo. Who's a good boy? The good dog. Guess he only wanted four apples. Alright, let's see if we can figure this quest out. Um. Over here. I didn't get my horse out. Or should I make the car? right where a driver's seat would be. Mom. Mom. Hold on. What are you three ladies doing? Hmm. Bye, man. Leave Guru Town. We set off on a search for our... In our search for a vote. Wanted to pull, put out all... Our Vo and you lessons to the test, but none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh. Reminds me, before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They call him a hero. Ah. Hero, huh? I bet he's strong, Vo, who's taller than us, even. I'm gonna go take him out. <sighs> you mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be the one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize Ooh. him? Oh, the legendary sword. Now that I remember, the hero is carrying the legendary sword. Mm. Oh, the legendary sword. Wait. What is the legendary sword anyways? It shouldn't have to be called legendary, then it probably glows or something. <laughs> oh, maybe it's really tall. Taller than us, even if we're standing on each other's shoulders. Mm. This sounds like a real pain. It'd be easier just to launch a surprise attack. If we were really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. <sighs> you say, uh, you have to stop to referring to Vo as targets. Oh, they're, they're looking for husbands. Because the Garuda don't have men. Sorry, man. Should have grabbed my horse. This vehicle isn't very practical. <laughs> my poor friend, please, you must save her. Are you okay? Uh -huh. Blonde hair? Uh -huh. I don't know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, but that would only make things worse. She's in hiding, unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Let's go. Mm. Hiding right now. That is the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. Ah. We do not want to draw evil to her. Uh -huh. 
I'll wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. Don't draw attention. How would I do that? said she should guide you to the person in need and then she took off down the road to the east are we just supposed to sneak through this all Oh, that's a black bacoblin. I don't understand what it wants us to do. Hug the wall. That guy nearly killed me in one hit. more black goblin horns so I'm actually glad to fight them but hopefully it didn't fuck up my quest but she said not to be spotted but I don't know how the hell I was supposed to get through there without getting spotted uh. sorry that the path is so poor you have to go up there could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? Uh -huh. We can meet right where you can see the fallen debris. What? I feel like I'm getting the run around. Is that a piece of... Oh, let me see something. If I do this... Oh, that is... Okay, hold on. I know how to get up there. Easy peasy. Take me up. <laughs> it, it must be him then. Oh, I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Oh shit, this is a... This is a bad guy. Three on the opposite cliff. This is a bad guy. They're testing me. To make sure I'm the link. To make sure I'm Link. And like, I'm succeeding, so... On to the Great Plateau.
And this is obviously a bad guy. Ah. Sorry for all that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, and you just... You're discussing unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> the grave. Is it Giga Clan? Yeah. All right, hold on. I need a different weapon. Let me escape. I wasn't trying to escape. I was fighting. I'll let you off this time. Don't expect that mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Fucking Yiga clan. Hi. Well? This is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out on a limb here. I've been scouting from the skies trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. Thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down and hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? Oh. Yiga clan. Upset by the Yiga clan. Didn't know. They're a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were good at disguising themselves. Playing the part of a villager, I would never have guessed. And all to flush out the swordsman who protects the princess. Oh. They thought you, a young up-and-coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair. I believe you were actually that swordsman. Yeah, I forgot to read that. Or didn't read it. You definitely got some skills, though. If you can escape from a Yiga clan, I'm proud of you, partner. I'm glad I didn't have to write the headline like Junior Reporter Falls to Their Cruel Blade of the Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. Hmm. We worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh yeah, I'll take 50 bucks. From Tracy, Lucky Clover Gazette Fabric. Oh, nice. The Hatano Village Dye Shop in Nakluda has started up a new service. Something to do with fabrics. I know, I know, I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing it over this fabric, but still... Accepting it, making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. Um, I took off and turned the usual dis details into an article. You take care, partner. Ah. Or long. Bye, friend. All right, I gotta make some. Uh, I gotta make some new weapons. Let's see. We got a broadsword. We got a feather edge. We got a giant boomerang. But let's let's just I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna keep using these damn uh black bacoblin horns. They're really good. So we'll do this. Hey, that's pretty cool. We'll do this. And this. Those are all really strong weapons now. I had to switch off of this one because it's too slow for Yiga Clan. Um, Alright, there was one place... There was a... Stable that I did not check for stories. And it was... Here.
Oh, at some point I need to go get my stamina up too. Looking to see if there's any quests. Now that I know to look inside, too, I can find, like, useful shit on the walls, apparently. See, like, is this a recipe? Tomato plus mushroom. Mm. Oh. Careful there, partner. You went and scared away all the little birds away. You'll swim around like that, and it won't just be the birds you send flying for the hills. It's fine, though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. Mm. I don't want to say this too loud and start a panic, but rumors are spreading about Princess Zelda, that she's been riding some mysterious beast. Mm. said to be a mountain of a beast, too, one with a huge, brutal tusks. My little reporters have never seen something so frightening. Of course, what made it far worse was that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. Mm. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. But if this terrifying monster exists, then the imp Im implications make this a very, very huge story. Well? You know, there was a guest at the stable talking about some kind of rumored beast. A little bird informant told me that there may have been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. If we want to learn more, we should dive beak first into the stable, into this stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. <laughs> we just need to peck away at this until we figure out it's an enticing truth or an elaborate fiction. That quest wants me to go... Subtropical region. Okay, well, I mean, I'll do that later. Not much of a wagon. Yeah. Oh, a customer. Good thing you got here before nightfall. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but I'd like to use the stable. You can go up to the counter. What are you up to? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, since you asked. <laughs> After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this beauty. Mm. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper. I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Let me fix my sound. Hold on. I heard it crackle. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook up the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Um... Yeah. The materials are restable. No two stacks have the exact same materials. Wild horse. Catch a wild horse. You have to cross down, sneak up on them, or they'll run away. Then after you do catch one, you have to soothe the horse or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Alright. Um, I will help you fix your wagon. Where's the parts at? There's a well here. I need to check it. What? Huh? What? It's fixed? I fixed your wagon. <laughs> oh, the glue is gone. It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Uh. Thank you so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from dream of having a horse-drawn wagon. Mm. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest part, catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? I'll catch you a horse. After I check this well. Oh, there's a broom. Yeet! Wait, hold on. I, I forgot. I need to be taking pictures of stuff. So, right cap. Do I need to save the picture? Let me see. Okay, I do need to save the picture. Wheels and all, like a wagon would ha not have them. Yeah. Um. Oh, a lizard. Sticky lizard. Oh. 
Huh. Can I drain this or something? What's with this bomb rocks? Maybe I chuck a bomb in there. Now I always blow myself up, so... There we go. Drain the water. Fuck this well. Got the plants on fire. Oh, there's a rusty claymore. I should take a picture of it. Alright, let me see something. If I go to album, can I delete these pictures and it keep them? No, I don't want to delete that one. Um... Delete. You know, I actually don't care about those pictures Zelda took. Bye. Sorry, Zelda. And then now, look, I got items. Rusty Claymore. Right cap. Clip resistance. That's kind of cool. Imagine filling that whole fucking inventory up, though. Oh my god, I could take forever. Oh, I should have took a picture of the chest. Purple Rupee. I take a picture of like a barrel what about a crate wait what great eagle bow wait can I take a picture of myself self-portrait Thick stick. All right, let's go catch her a wild horse. Oh wait, what am I doing? Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, where's the horses at? Oh, I need more peppers. I know I've seen horses around here somewhere. There they are.
Here's your horse. Uh. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling my wagon. All yours. What? You mean that? You really part with such a wonderful horse? Uh. Thank you. Wow. Who knew stuff like this really happened? I'm so happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. Harness? Hi. Harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on a horse you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item that you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can get one as a prize. So bear with me a moment. I mean, I already have one. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, lady. Oh, I got a bunch of messages in Discord. Hold on. And we're all set. Uh, I can't believe it. A wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. I think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this amazing. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Here's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you, no forcing you to take it, please. A hundred rupees? Hell yeah. You'd have money. <laughs> One last order of business. What's your name? Ooh. Link, huh? Zoomy? Link? Maybe Zuli or Lumi? What about Zunk? I'll call this wagon, Z wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. <laughs> Feel free to come visit the two of us anytime. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, happy to help. Who's a good pup? Good dog. I wish I could pet you. Um, okay, give me my horse. Hey! No. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take a horse. Oh. Let's take. Uh. Yeah, we'll take this one. Ah. Golden showers. Ah. Oh. All set. Ah. Oh. All right, so they keep telling me to go to Lookout Landing, but that's not where I want to go. All right, did I find a stable down here? Um, I don't think I did. This stable, but I think I already... Yeah, that's the one I was just at. This stable... That stable. I already did this stable. I'm pretty sure there's a stable like here. So this is where I want to go. I need to f follow the. I need to go to the road and then go south, and then hug a right. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Is pretty good. It's following the road.
Oh, the music is so good. I could do this all day. I'm about to have a blood moon again. Yep, here comes a blood moon. Also, I noticed something about the blood moon cutscene. Zelda's voice. Listen, listen to this voiceover. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, it. I don't think it's Zelda. The way she talks. threatened once again. The way she talks in that cutscene, it sounds like someone else. It doesn't sound like the way she talks. Like, the voice sounds like her, sure. But, like, I don't know. I think it's I think it's not Zelda. I think someone's impersonating Zelda. That's who the person we're chasing is. Alright, let's help the sign guy. Alright, sign guy, what do you got for me? There's a post. I can... I have a plan. I, will this fit in there? It won't. It might fit like here. That's not really gonna do what I want. But I can do this. This will fit in here, right? Pretty sure that's gonna hold that sign in place. Let's do another one just to be safe. All right, let's try it. Nope. The whole thing is too heavy, and now I gotta take the whole thing apart. You do it. Should have known. This is how I do it. Watch. That one doesn't want to stick. Okay, got it. Now we do... Now it can't flip. Perfect. Locked in. That bitch ain't going nowhere.
I'll take my money. <laughs> Mushroom balls, nice. Ooh. And a bomb flower. Okay, cool. Ah. Hey, there's a, there's the stable I was looking for. Found it. Is that a banana? I'm not falling for that Higa clan. Fucking bananas. Alright, let's, uh... I'll leave Pona here, and I'm gonna run up and grab a beetle. I'm gonna run up and grab this shrine. My phone screamed at me. Oh, it's Discord messages. Pour me a drink. I need to run to the ga the grocery store tonight before tomorrow since you have to go back to work. Load. All right, combat training archery. Uh, where do you have to go before I go back to work? The grocery store. I was gonna see if I can get some more two liters. Cause I'm out of, out of a. Uh, what's it called? Sun Kiss Zero. So I'm gonna be going tonight. Uh, oh wait, I'm gonna be using a bow anyways. archery training so Shrine Fear Pass H E will have entered here, heed my instructions. Set your aim and fire at the enemy's head. Oh, okay. I can do that. Your other attacks are ineffective, ready yourself. So only headshots work. Oh, this is like an instruction. Well done. Okay. A little late for a tutorial, isn't it? Not for your the approaching enemies. Fire and strike their heads. Fire true and strike their heads. Oh, I suck at this. Don't I charge? You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Donite swords. So, I've come to understand that Zonite swords. Oh, wait, I can. I have room for two more bows. Let's grab these construct bows. They're not the greatest, but better than nothing. 
I've come to understand that these Zonite swords are pretty useful. Like, here, I'm gonna... No, that's, I didn't want to select it. I wanted to drop it. So, apparently, they combine with uh, Zonite tech to a great degree. And it's not just these. I thought it, they combined with this stuff. But no, they will combine with anything that's Zonite tech. So, even this. Like a cold soldier construct horn. Let's try it. I'm going to do a construct horn. And then I'm going to select this. And let's see what we get. So we got an additional plus three. So instead of plus eight, it was uh, plus 11. That's pretty good, actually. I mean, this is my weakest weapon because I'm using those what what's it called? But I'll take it anyways. It's not that big a deal. Stronger than the topaz rod I was using. Plus, it looks kind of sick, honestly. Um, there's something else I was gonna say. What was it? Getting static again. Strong construct bow. Okay. Get rid of one of the ones I just picked up. All right, I was fixing my audio. Drop. Honestly, the, this is pretty shit, too. Those bows are just there for backup. Backup emergency bow. Alright, now we can go check out the table. I see a little dude. Got him. Yeah. Any Korok sees who I had? 41. Dude, as soon as I find Hestu, he's going to give me so many, uh, like, equipment slots. I think that's just eggs. Is there another well here? There is. You know, I should probably start looking down to see if there's water before I just drop in. One of these times I'm gonna fucking smash my knees and break my bones. I keep forgetting to take pictures of stuff. What are you in there laughing about? I hear you laughing through the wall. Rocks aren't on the list, are they? No. I didn't think so. That'd be weird. Um, Porf being a degen. When is Porf not a degen? Oh, that looks like some muck. Let's not step in it. I stepped in it. Okay. I guess it doesn't float. Can I, like, this? That is fudge. Oh, there's two. Okay. I can make a bridge. Eh. 
There we go. Fuck your sludge. Another secret hole? Someone's been here. There's a fire. Were they trapped by the sludge? What do we got? Purple rupee. Man, I'm finding all kinds of money. Oh, I forgot to bring my... Oh, hey! Where's your friend? What? Oh, jeez, he's way over there. All right, hold on. Oh, easy, girl. Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a pony point. Oh. Uh, customized horse. Okay. Mm. I want the equipment mm. to the towing harness. Oh. 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 Mm. You know what I should have done? I should have just attached him to the harness. Hold on, can I still do that? I don't I don't want to drag. I don't want the wagon. I want just him. I'm just going to drag him along the floor. All right, let's go. Let's go. And just drag him along the floor. Come on, buddy. We're going places. <laughs> Shut up, you're having fun. <laughs> Every little buff, he goes flying. <laughs> Let's go faster. Oh, well, it works. Yeah, He's freaking out. Here, have some plants. There, are you happy? I brought you here. And that is how you get two dudes together. Like, two Koroks. That's how you, you bring them together. Alright. Come on, Golden Rain. Yeah! She goes so much slower when she's got this damn block on her. I have to uh, switch it back out for the regular harness. Yeah, you get two dudes together. That's exactly how you do it. You like my horse, Toki? Not the huge white horse. No, this is this is the golden horse. Oh, this guy. Oh. Customized horse. Mm. Change equipment. Royal saddle. Oh. 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 Mm. All right, now let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's just saddles. Is this supposed to be the monster that the 
other one was talking about? What is this? Sticky lizard plus bacoblin horn equals... I don't know what... I can't read it. I don't know what it is. Well, let's try it out. Sticky lizard. I think that was a sticky lizard. Uh, Goblin horn. There's one. Old. Um, a sticky lizard. I think this is just going to make a sticky potion, right? I feel like this one's pretty comp pretty simple. Just a sticky elixir. <laughs> yeah, slip resistant. So next time it rains, I'll just drink that. Do what Beetle has. What do you got, Beetle? Butterflies. Thunder, winter, summer. Time for my newspaper job. Hmm. Hardly a trace of a recipe remains, just the remnants of half-eaten Hylian pine cones. Hey, partner, you're still looking good. Uh, were you also pulled to this place by an inescapable tug of a story? Chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. If goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe? Anyway, this stable has been rising a small herd of white goats. Or was it? It was until the, all the white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. Hmm. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Why don't you go? Why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who was taking care of the white goats? I'll look for more clues. Oh. I can feel it. All right, are you Chork? Oh. You seen some white goats around here? I've given these goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. Oh. Didn't even finish all their food before they left. Eileen and pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Oh. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian and pine cones. Mm. Requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want a wonderful white ghost to eat the recipe the princess gave me. So I put it in a glass bottle. <sighs> but a big storm came through the one day and blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. Mm. What would make my white goat spit up the Hylian pine cones and run off like that? Did they did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Huh. Okay. So they spit up pine cones. Can I follow the trail of pine cones? Come on, horse. We're following the pine cones. Yeah. Oh. You can go a little faster. I didn't mean to fully stop on you. Pine cone. Pine cone. Pine cones. Um. Horse. Sometimes you're the. You know what? Fuck you, horse. Make your own way across. Figure it out. Oh, you'll run right across when I'm not riding you, you piece of shit. Come here. Hey, this horse you picked out is stupid. I ought to go back to the Pona. Pine cones are hard to see in the grass. Looking for some white goats, baby, this evening. Found them. Now what? Do I kill them? Oh, the bottle's there. 
on me. Oh, those are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. Oh, good. I didn't have to actually, like, do anything. There, there. I'm just glad to see you are all okay. You're the one who found them. Thank you. I won't forget this. The bottle. This will keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. I need to check the recipe. Yes, yes. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine cones in a powder. I'm not supposed to use Hylian pine cone whole. Should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats, they must have run off because the awful food was making them eat. So sorry I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It's all my fault all along. I would have run away too. Princess Zelda shared with me. Should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. Important to show them you care with all your heart. Mm. Same kindness, ah. passion, Princess Zelda displays. Blah blah blah. Ah. <laughs> Finding the white goats and the recipe. Take care. All right. Ah. Could have told me the recipe. What if yeah. it was something I want to eat? I saw everything, partner. Ah. Perfect investigation with a happy ending. I expect nothing less from you. Do you think it's a coincidence that missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. Huh. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make me make you wonder, doesn't it? Mm. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Ah. You know, I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie for how hard you've been working these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Hell yeah, 50 bucks. 50 oh. whole dollars. Oh, that's right. Tracy has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your conversation this time around. No surprise there. Ooh, 20 more books. Alright, let's hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. So long. Alright, cool. Um, There was one more thing I wanted to do. At Island. I want to check that out. It looks interesting. Like, got spirals. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here and we're going to launch. Time for launch. Wait, let's see if if uh, Hephaestus is here. Whatever his name is, Hephaestus. I don't know where he would be from here. Like side. Can't see. I am willing to bet that he's not here again. I really need to find him. I have so many items in my inventory. Wild horse. Yeah, I don't see him. Wait, haven't I already killed this bubble frog? Why is that? thing back just so I can get more money ooh I got a lot of money that time Uh, I'm gonna go back in this cave and see if there's another bubble frog. I didn't think they would respawn, but do they? Oh no, this is... This cave. This was the one that fucked me up last time. I don't know if I want to go back in this cave. 
I don't no, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with those guys. Yeah, I'm not seeing Estes. Or Hetsu, or whatever his name is. I'm not seeing him. Let's head uh, back to the tower. We'll go check out that flying island. It's gonna take me forever to get up here. Just fast travel back there. All right, now we launch. Where's this island at? Oh, it's way over there. On the lions. Okay. Ryan? Want me to jump? It does want me to jump. Let me guess. I have to go through the rings. Courage Island. I see. I get it. All right. Let's hop through the rings. Miss that one. Ooh, I think I barely hit it. Ooh, I gotta be careful with that dash. We found the jelly bean. Some batteries. What do we got? Let 
getting static again, damn it. Lots of items. Anything new, though? Portable. Oh, yeah. Balloons. Nice. We can get balloons here. I need more portable pots anyways. Here, let's get some more. I'm always happy to get more balloons. I don't care about the time bomb, so I should blow myself up more than I blow up anybody else. Damn, Bulb. What are you? Welcome. This is the site of the ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Dive ceremony? Could it be that you are not known to dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. Dive ceremony is a trial that tests your courage. It is a rite by which Zonai youth come of age. The starting position is the sky island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. Didn't I just do that? Or is this a different one? This one's timed. Maybe the last one wasn't timed? I wish you luck in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit. Ooh. Show me your courage. I'll do it. Perhaps I forgot to mention one thing. I require one Zonai Charges offering. This one's dispensed in the ceremony to offer a Zonai Charge to the island. No Zonai Charges have been provided for many years. We are in short supply. Your cooperation will be appreciated. Alright. Here you go. One charge. I got like 70 of them. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all of the rings in 35 seconds or less. Okay. 35 seconds to get to the bottom. Is it the same number of rings or is there more rings? Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do... Twenty-five seconds. Okay, that's pretty fast. I had to do it in thirty-five. Time is twenty-five eleven. That counts as a success, though not by much. Wait, what? It said by thirty-five seconds. Glide shirt. Skydive mobility up. Excuse me. I want to wear it now. I have to remember I don't have cold resist. Oh wait, no, I still do. Yeah, I would, I would rather wear the skydive shirt. This is awesome. Can I get the boots too? Fastest recorded time of twenty seconds. Um, yeah, let's try it. You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't saved in a while. Probably save. Oh my god, it's so much easier with this suit. Eighteen five. Holy crap, this suit makes it so much easier. It's an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. I award this to you in honor of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. A large Sonai charge. Alright, cool. Tell your name and I'll register it. My name is Link. Rhymes with sync. You will attempt the ceremony again. I will require an offering of one zone I charge. No thanks. Dude, that was sick. I got the fucking wingsuit. This is great. I need the rest of the wingsuit though. Where's the legs and the the legs and the helm? Dude, imagine you get all those pieces. How crazy will that be? And now we have a shrine here. Oh, a teleporter here too. That'll be nice. That'll be handy. For getting to different places. Ah, 
combat training archery. Didn't I just do this? Well, this one's different. Okay. Try and purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instructions. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus, target your enemy with an arrow and release. Oh, it wants me to do the slow time thing. Yeah, I've done that before. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready your ready yourself. Okay, easy enough. Well done. And kill all three of them like last time. Take aim and defeat the enemies. Okay. Proceed to the innermost chamber. I didn't really need that message, but thanks. Doing that would have been sufficient. Give me the zone I charge. I'm gonna make up for the ones I lost. Arrows. I gotta make up for the arrows I lost. Ooh, 20 arrows. Nice. What else do I got? 75. Need more arrows. Strong construct bow. Um. Sure. Da -da -da -da. Oh, dude, two upgrades. Hell yeah. I can fill out my second uh, energy bar. Let's go back to Hyrule Town then and do that. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Go here. Talking to all the people in the towns also gives you new clues, like for quests and things. Like try to, I think the game tries to point you in the direction of like useful shit. I got to figure out where to get the rest of the um, skydiving outfit. I've got one piece, now I need two more. I imagine it's gonna be in the Sky Islands. Hey, what the fuck? What is that? Alright. Before I mess with that, let's go get our upgrades. Ray! Rage! Join us, oh brothers and sisters. And pray for our stamina vessel, so that we shall grant be granted the power to climb all the mountains. Ooh, nice. I think after this, I think one more and then we'll have two full bars. Yeah, two full bars of energy. And then I'll start working on health again. Stamina vessel. Yes, I do want a stamina vessel. Nice. Full two bars of energy. Go and bring peace to the world. So this map I did not see earlier, but... I am going to take a picture of it too. 
that has like points of interest on it. And then I'm gonna go into my album and I'm gonna delete some photos. This, this, and delete. Now, can I take a picture of people? Or is it only important people? Like, Scorpius here. Oh, take a picture of his spear. Maybe. Uh, let me see if I can take a picture of here, because that was the thing I wasn't sure about. Oh, you have extended your shop. It now includes Hylian Rice. Fancy. Oh, 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 and you've extended it over here. Is this, no? What about, yo, Apple, let's go. Yo, we got arrows. Let's go. I don't know why I'm doing this. No Hylian Rice picture? Okay. Um, what is this? Snow Quill Tunic. I don't need this. Hylian Tunic, Hylian Hood, Hylian Trousers. Alright, well. Um, Pestu! Oh, I found him! Oh, yay! Shalaka! You can see me, can't you? The name's Hestu. I'm from Korok Forest. We met last game! Up north, I'm a musician, and my ha happiest happy place is playing the maracas and dancing. I left the forest to do some traveling, but things have gotten pretty wild lately. That's why I'm stopping at a safe place with lots of people around. But I'm getting bored just standing here. Do you want to see my... My dance before you go? <laughs> Hang on, something's wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and make your inventory bigger. Well, guess what, buddy? I got a bunch of Korok seeds. But the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was uh, all in a panic. <laughs> Hang on. Sniff, sniff, do you have a Korok seed? do you got Korok seed from one of the forest children you give me a Korok seed I'll make your inventory bigger yes please which stash do you want more slots in weapon stash here you go one uh, seed I'm gonna be here a minute while I all all righty then that was entertaining look at that extra inventory slot uh, na 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 na. He says the, he says the thing. Expand a band band weapon stash. Shakala, so so. Are you happy with it? Bring me more Korok seeds. I'll expand your inventory again. Oh, bro, I got forty one seeds with your name on it. Oh, 42. Um, give me a shield stash. Here you go. Okay, we're gonna. We're not gonna watch it every time. Nice, five shields. That's huge. Honestly, weapons is the most important one, though. Let me just keep expanding weapons. Let's do a one bow upgrade, and then we'll do as many weapons as we can. Weapon stash. Oh, it goes up in price every time. Oh, 
four, three seats. Oh, okay, it only goes up by one. I thought it was gonna double each time. All the weapon slots. How many weapon slots can you get? All these Koroks was worth it. Eight Korok seeds? Shit, it's getting expensive. He went up by three that time. Um, one more weapon. Twelve seeds. Jesus. I couldn't upgrade weapon again if I wanted to. Oh, I, I forgot. I should skip that. Nice. Fifteen weapon slots. Let's go with... Let's go with bow. So that's two, four, and then I'll have six left. I can do both of them one more time each. Okay, we'll do that. Finally got my inventory upgraded a bit. Bow stash. <sighs> ah, look at all this room I got for bows. That'll be nice. Three more additional bows. Shield stash. Oh, I should have watched it for the last one. That's okay. Three additional shields. That's really good. Thanks, Hestu. Hey, it's it's done. You finished it. What do you think the state? When do you think the stable will be ready? Ah. It'll still be a while yet. What? <sighs> I need to get the last of the roof planes correctly fitted. There's only one spot to finish. <sighs> Uh, I got you. Here, look, watch this. I'll, I'll finish it. Watch my skills. I'm a master carpenter. <laughs> Roof done. Huh? Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fix it. With the roof done, that's what's all that's left to add is the finishing touches. I'll get cracking sun and done. Sun and done. Oh, because he's Hudson Construction. Uh -huh. His name is Carson. I get it. Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes. Feeling pumped. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. <laughs> All right, bro. Easy. Settle down now. <laughs> hey, look! A stable! Why is the E backwards? Well, this is a fine-looking stable. Surprised you considering your Hudson's construction's number one. Can't say I'm surprised. Sorry. Hmm. Thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. You got it, Lester. Wait, does this count as a, uh... Mini stable without you and Carson. 
Let's get to business. One point. Oh, it counts as a stable, so I get a point. Yo, let's go. Hmm. Oh, Norman Mini Stable, what can I do for you today? Nothing. If you leave out Lookout Landing's East Gate, you'll find it on the way to Elden. Oh, talking about the Great Fairy. Treasure? Oh! Yeah. It's these things! I can Maybe I can finally read them. I haven't been able to read these damn Star Islands. Hi, Link, you've come just in time. Have a look at this. Mm. Stone town that fell from the skies inscribed with ancient Hyrulean. If I can manage to translate the text, it may be key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back in the research lab in Kakariko. So I'll be heading there to check this text against the notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. Mm -hmm. If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko Village so you can share what was translated ah. so far. The inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to distant past. I am to unravel its mysteries, and the sooner I get started, the better. I would like to go to Kakariko Village. Does it do anything? Yeah, I just can't read it. Can I rewind it, though? That is the question. I cannot. That would be funny. They're all like, hey, check this thing out. Zip back up into the sky. Alright, let's go talk to all the people, see if there's any quests. Any questicles I'm missing? No. No. Any questicles? Yes, questicles. I'm sorry, Tyro, you're not in the right one for the job. Come on, don't say that. You've got to let me cast my line into the depths, too. Oh, this is more depths quest. I'm capable of deciphering some Zonai script. Who else could tackle that stuff? I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Zonai survey team, after all. But aren't you heading up to the Ring Ruins investigation in Kakariko Village anyway, Tyro? Hold on, sorry. I've got to... Just... See, I was having some issues. I'll be right back as well. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. I'll have you know, I had my headset on the whole time I'm in the bathroom, and I can hear that damn crackling coming through the whole fucking time. Driving me crazy. Really wish I knew how to fix this. Alright. Aren't you heading up the Ring Ruins investigation in Kakariko anyways, Taro? That's where your focus should be. Those fallen rings are huge and exciting, big enough to see from Lookout Landing. So please, finish your work there before asking to join new research. Mm. But, but to read first-hand Zonai history, that bait's too juicy to pass up. Zonai survey team leader. Uh -huh. Ah, Swordsman. <laughs> uh, someone else is here for the job already. Uh -huh. I guess it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakariko Village and just stare up at those ring ruins. I guess I need to go to Kakariko at some point. 
Carl's an amazing person, and he's first-rate archaeolo archaeologist, too. But he loves Zonai research so much that he'll bolt from a project to chase any new discoveries. What's well, so Did you perhaps come to help with our investigation of the depths? I'll help. Thank you. Having your help out is such a relief. I'll explain all the details to you. Come with me. New objective. Taro's profile has been added. Oh, look. Bulbs and a huge zonite. I want the large zonite. Can I have it? Can I have the large zonite? Uh -huh. So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more... F Jesus. You, you finished the whole damn thing. Look at it. I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da, just look. Got a whole damn fucking mural now. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. Thing shows that there's a whole series of statues down there like this one. You found me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. Until it ends with the last statue facing the final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's gotta be one of the Zonai. Then there's this strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. So to collect my thoughts on all this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is just my speculation, uh, speculation on my part, so that's where you come in, Swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go myself and, get, and uh, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. Ten giant seeds. Uh -huh. Nice. Arrows. Give me the give me the large zonite. Yeah. Hey, there the, there's an added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. Maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, swordsman. What? You mean to tell me you already found the temple? Oh, is that the temple? Okay. And what was in there? Auto build? With the ability to instantly replicate things you built. And schema stones. Oh. So there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious power down in the depths. Hmm? And that may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Okay. Um... Not that. Nope. Not that either. Aha! Here we go. Here, swordsman. A schema stone. These stones slabs depict schematics of things such as zonai vehicles. Auto build saves these schematics and builds it on command. Hot air balloon. New design has been registered with auto build. Uh huh. The schema stone for a balloon, right? So if you use this with auto build, you could replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. Yeah. That balloon over there belongs to goggles. But it's broken right now. Do you think you might be able to fix it with auto build? Keep so exciting. I want to see it in action pronto. I'll go prepare really quickly. Is this finally going to unlock like okay. random airships for me to use? Please demonstrate auto build replicate things. All right, you got it, lady. I, I can't believe it. You rebuilt the balloon in an instant. I do need to start using auto build more. It's really effective. This this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. In whatever. Goggles. Hey. Goggles. What are you yelling about, Joshua? Inconceivable. My balloon is fixed. This must be a mysterious power the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Yeah, give me that Zonite. Uh -huh. I forgot what it is, but judging from that light, it's got to be Zonite in origin. I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep searching the depths going forward. Who knows? We might find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, Swordsman. Sure thing. I love that it gives you little bit-by-bit -bit quests to explore the depths instead of, like... 
Just expecting you to plunge in all on your own. No way, Koga, the leader of the Yiga clan, was there. Oh, this is dangerous. I gotta regain my composure. Okay, come this way. Wait, are we starting the next chapter already? Yeah. So you face Koga in the depths. Hmm? What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. Olga has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, I can't just take my eyes off this threat. Mm -hmm. Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. You go after him. Keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. Ooh. These statues are different from the one you showed me on the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and I and do come near when you go when you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead further southwest into the depths. Uh -huh. I think it was anyone's guess, but there is a destination far beyond that building we're seeing. Oh. I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths. Be sure to stop by and check with me sometimes. So, uh, is it telling me to go there? Ooh. I really appreciate you picking up my balloon, Ultra thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Listen up. Big update here. Your bad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Ooh, ooh, I want that. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purepad Research Lab in Hentano Village. That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purepad, which Pure and I discovered. Once I'm in the lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Purepad, starting with the sensor. Find the lab in East Nakluda, off the southeast corner of Hyrule, on its on its far side is Hatano Village. Go a bit further than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the look fools you. It's Cutting Edge Lab. Alright, I'm going to head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. Be in Hatano Village. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, so I need to go to Kakariko. I need to go to Hatano. I need to go northeast for the next major quest. Oh my god, I've got so many places to go. What do I want to do? All right, we got Atano, potential princess sighting by visiting stables, okay. Subtropical regions in the south, okay. Re Peace to Nakluda, that's the Port Hatano uh, with the Aza squad. Messages from an ancient era. Grave with ancient harmony texts. That's in, uh, what's it called? To the east. Master Koga, the Yiga clan. Okay. Let's do this one, and we'll just make our way east from, from here. Let's grab our horse. We'll just investigate things on the way. Oh. Oh, there's a freaking well here. Um, this is not where I want to go. Oh no, Hestu's still here. I was just on the wrong part of town. Alright, I want my horse. Take horse. Um... Yeah, let's take gold rain. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're going to go east. <laughs> Huh. 
There's a shrine right away. I haven't seen Sign Guy. Oh, hey, look, it's one of those trees. Combat training throwing. They want me to throw weapons or, oh, fruit maybe? They want me to throw fire fruit at him? I'm sure if I think Chavel, you have entered here. Heed my instruction. I mean, I already figured out how to throw fire fruit, but okay. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Alright, let me grab all the materials. Hold to get ready. Like material. Hey man. If you could not attack me, that'd be great. Well done. Watch the enemy's movements carefully and throw the material at them. Deep to the innermost chamber. Well, thanks. Guess I can't get up there. Oh, yes, I can. In my zone, I charge you, bastard. I'm not gonna grab these weak ass bows. Bomb flowers, I'll take those. Well, yeah, I didn't think I could get up there, but then there was a there was a ladder. Why are you being like this? That's what happened. Not like I'm making shit up. So mean to me. What do I have to put up with, guys? Constant degradation. It's like they don't even love me. Alright. Um... Where's my horse? Come here, gold. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we gotta rescue that ass over here. I guess technically he's not fat. His backpack is fat. 
My friend and I got separated. Where is he at? Cross the river, huh? My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Hmm. So tired, though. I can't move. Guess what, man? I got you. Wish I could just throw him. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's upside down. You know what? Right on the front. That's where you belong. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. What is that? Oh, there's a cave over there. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Watch this. I'm gonna pick you up. Go up. I'm gonna hover for a few seconds. I'm gonna set you down. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna jump on. I'm dilate. Now I cancel. It wasn't it wasn't enough. You know what? We're gonna do a different we're gonna do a different strat. We're gonna do this. We're doing this. <laughs> what, is that uncomfortable or something? What, why are you acting like you were hurt or something? It's not like I rammed you into the ground on a rocket. What, what? On about whiny little baby what a baby not my favorite horse I'm just using it because it was the one you wanted Epona's my favorite horse you know she's a fast horse um should I go check out this cave or should I keep searching can my horse even get here? Can you reach me, horse? Is it gonna cross the river somehow? I don't think it can cross the river. Alright, whatever. We'll just go. We'll do this cave and then if the horse is still there when we come out give me money damn he aggroed he is aggroed I'm gonna ignore him though What is that? I need to take a picture of ore deposit. Ruffle? I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know if you get anything for it. But I think it's fun. Oh no, my hammer is going to break. Can I break this? I can. Well, shit. I need to find something to hit stuff with. That's a talus. 
That is 100% a talus. I don't have a hammer. I need a hammer. No, no. I don't have a hammer yet. Unless... Wait, hold on. Rewind time mode. Back at you. Nope. Throw your other arm at me. Come on. Yo, bro. Let's just hit him with something big like this. Bubble asshole needs to chill. I'm trying to fight right now. I don't got time for your dumb ass. God damn it. another stone heart, right? I don't think it does anything useful. Luminous stone talus heart. Here, we'll put it on our shield anyways, because why not? Hold on, let's put it on... Yeah, let's put it on one of these. Plus 21? Excuse me? put that on a weapon oh shit I should have put that on a weapon plus 21 damage oh look now I have a glowing shield though um all right bubble gym complete cave done dude plus 21 damage that would have been huge if I put that on a weapon All right, this cave is done. I don't care about all that luminous ore. All right, I gotta get my horse. I'm not gonna make it. Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Made it. Uh, I am not trying to gallop this horse out of this hole. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna whistle. 
I'm gonna wait for my horse to come to me. Who's a good horse? Hey, that's a mob cave. Eh, I'm not worried about it. I don't know where the tower is in this area, so... Is that a talus base? I think it is. Did I try to kill it? Just killed a talus. I didn't know he could do that. And I got fucking static again. God damn it. So sick of the static shit. So fucking annoying. the guy that was in trouble. Now it's just me and you, Talus. So this one's just a regular stone heart, right? Stone talus heart. Yeah, that one's not worth my time. Horse. I need you. Come to butthead. Go horse. direction. There's the tower I'm looking for. I think. Yeah, because there's the big ring things they were talking about. Well, there's another cave here, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Something's steaming over there. There's a shrine. Do I go check out the steaming thing? 
Now let's go check it out. Something on fire. Someone having a campfire or something? What's going on? Another cave? Jesus. How many caves are in this area? Oh my gosh, already. I've waited so long. Uh, waited a long time for somebody to rescue me. My own damn fault. I went. I, it's my own damn fault. I'm here, though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. Then the ladder broke. Uh, but yeah, it broke. I tried to climb up. Uh, On top of that, my best buddy I go everywhere with should have noticed, but uh, he didn't. He kept going right on going. Come on, man. Really? Let's... Sorry, not your fault. I can tell how happy I am that you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. Uh, I mean, the broken part is still here. Technically, you could fix it if the dang ladder weren't too high to reach. I mean, you know who you're talking to, man? Oh. Okay. Uh, interesting. I didn't realize it was one of those kind of ladders. You know, I mean, a lot of a lot of guys have issues with keeping their ladder up. It's It's... Not that big a deal, really. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Fix the ah. ladder. Did you do that? You're incredible. Now let's get out of here already. I mean, <laughs> looking that well for the rest of my life. Seriously. Here, take this. Fifty bucks. All right. Oh. I won't complain. I'm going to catch up to my buddy Jora and head to Foothill Stable. So we can apply the Zonai survey team. Ah. See you around. Thanks again. And hey, don't go falling in any wells, okay? I mean, I jumped in on purpose, but I want to go back in, actually. Because I didn't look around. Around. Whoa, easy. All right, horse. What is that? Is that the sign guy? It is the sign guy. Oh, I saw a thing. Horse. I need you. I saw a thing. Fuck the sign guy. He can fix his own damn sign. I wanna see if I can find that, whatever that sparkly thing was that fell from the sky. Dropped over here somewhere. Yeah. Where'd it drop? It's like right over here. I don't see it. Wait, didn't I already clear that shrine? Oh, this is back where I was. All right, well, I don't see it, so. Damn it. All right, well, we'll head back and we'll help sign guy. Dude, I love this song. How would you know? You haven't used it enough to notice if it has that issue or not. I mean, I guess it is a different brand. But I'm worried about the quality, though. I mean, I guess we can try it after after stream. I'll uh, I'll try it and see. As long as you're not planning on using it. All right. What do we got? There's a there's a gap in your sign. Fit in the gap in your sign? Does. So, how can I secure that to the gap in your sign? With. 
None of these. Maybe? I mean... Ah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. Somehow I've, I've pinched it between. I wonder if you get anything good for doing this whole sign quest. Your help, President Hudson's firmly in place. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> or if it's just like money and free shit. He gives me food, so I can't complain. Whoa. Come on, horse. Oh, there's a stable right here. How did I not notice that, like, literally a second ago? Am I blind? You know, that rock could have clobbered somebody. I mean, pony points? <laughs> Hello, pony points. Ooh. Ooh. Wetland stable. Ooh. Hey, I get a new reward. Oh. 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 Hmm. reward me. Hi. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. As a reward for 10 points, you can now register an additional horse. If you a horse out there you'd like to make yours, please bring it to us. Save up just three more points, mm -hmm. and you'll get your traveler's saddle and a traveler's traveler's birdle. Or birdle. Yeah, we're going to call it a birdle still. For your horse. We appreciate your patronage. Okay. We get an outfit. Oh. Sorry, I scared off your birds oh. again. You have a good day? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We can squawk about it all ah. later. Better. Very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. It sounds as if one night a while back, I'm not sure how far, Princess Elder borrowed the stable's farm tools. Mm. A bit unusual, why would the princess need farm tools? The story has another odd twist. I promised to return them and didn't. Now this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Though there's a strange time, so I got to thinking. Only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of, of tools for weight. Ben, hold on. You got ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, and who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tool. He's right around here. Watch it over the stable raft. I heard. Let's get to work, partner. All right. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Word to the wise, while the sun is down, don't even think about wandering in the forest near here. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in. Made a forest. I mean, fortress. Forestress. I mean, fortress. Anyway, it's a B.A.D. bad news, and it brought some other bad monsters with it. And look. I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but... What if... This monster, monster, monster decides to raid us. I can't sleep. I can barely talk. Aww. 
I thought maybe I'd try to sneak attack from behind, you know, stay out of their field of view. Did not go well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave, uh -huh. keep wishing for now. You really should steer clear of the forest. Alright, kill the big monster. Can do. What's in the well? Does this well lead to the other well? Are these wells connected? You know, I still don't need a weapon with a rock on the end of it. And I don't have one. Yeah, this well's connected to that well. Is it storming? Babe, is this supposed to storm tonight? Alright, at least get rid of the big one, they said. That be the big one? I think it's storming. This is the big one. I should attack from the other side so I can hit him in the head. Oh, you piece of shit. Alright, I cleared this camp out. That dude hit me so hard, that's such bullshit. Rock boomerang. I need a thick stick to put a, uh, a thing on. A rock. I'd like to put a boulder on it. A Lazal shield. If I can find a boulder, I'll put a boulder on it instead. Alright, let's head back to the inn. Uh, somewhere. Where's the inn? How did I get turned around? Here? Never guessed. Alright, kid. I did it. Do I have to go talk to the kid, or do I just... Now I need sleep because I'm hmm, dying. Uh, what is this? What kind of Lazalfo's horn plus a firefly? I don't have a firefly. All right, what do you? Hi. I want to oh. sleep. Let's do a Malananya oh. bed. Morning. All right, I'll spend the 50 bucks and see if I get a message from the god, horse god. I am Malana, Malanya, the god of horses, who grants quicker hooves and thicker hides. In northeast Hyrule, near a stable in Akala, I am waiting. Northeast Hyrule, near Akala. Okay. I need to find the god of horses. Uh, if I lose power, if my stream suddenly goes out, it's because I lost power. Oh. 
Mm. Oh, I get three extra hearts for sleeping in the good bed. Did you hear a message? Ah, oh, thanks for lodging with me. you with one point. Nice. Hmm. Heard about the trouble in Zora's domain? All that good water polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. As far as I know, no one knows where it came from. Terrible for the Zora, of course. Being water folk, I'm sh not sure how they'll manage. Zora's domain is to the east, past the, the Nehru wetlands. I'm not going that way, man. Not ready for Zora yet. Uh, I do need to see if there's any more quests. I wonder if I can't get quests during the storm. Oh, I can't cook either. That makes me think I gotta wait for the storm to end before I can do my questicles. Let's see if this guy's down here. Flash fruit. rocks, but I want boulder. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Oh, the princess? I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Pen from the newspaper, right? Ah. I didn't want this to get out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. She borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Oh. It was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Floret Sandbar. Damn, is fucking storming like crazy. Around the river bend, and then a good distance after that. Uh, I'd take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. You might say I'm in a bind. Uh, uh, I know I could clear this mess up if someone could take me down river to San Florida Sandbar on the raft. Okay, so you want me to take you on the raft, huh? What is this? Oh, is that a battery? Oh, I thought it was two fans. Let go. Jesus Christ. No! Come on, man. It moved at the last second. Are you fucking kidding me? What did he want me to do? If only someone would take him down the river on the raft. Okay, we'll get on the raft then. Oh. Ah. Uh. I can take you. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Alright, cut the rope when I'm ready to launch. Let the river bend. Oh, I can speed up or slow down.
you were worried about this this river like it's very calm man even with this fan I'm still like cruising my fans are gonna run out soon actually this is a pretty big battery Stop near that dock. Okay. Was this flooded? Look, there's water up over the trees here. Wait, did I get the shrine near the thing? Oh. I don't think I did. Uh, I thought it'd be a rough one, but it all turned out fine. And here comes Birdman. Yeah, it's storming like crazy. Yeah, I might lose. We might lose the stream. Ooh, finally caught up with you two. I was running around in this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew... Right on down to help, but uh, where are we? Huh? Hey, it's Magda. What do you think you're doing just barging in there? Places for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You better watch out, you'll rue the day you trample on any of them. Whoa, who's this? Ever met her before, partner? Uh? Sorry, man, we're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Uh? Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them. Wait a minute, farm tools, did you say something about farm tools? Uh, that's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Uh, oh, well, that's my fault, I have them. Here is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of the special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We went to return to the tools after we finished our work uh, here, but the princess, well, they say she went missing. Uh, and all our hard work is ruined when, oh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. Been working so hard since then to try and make it all nice again. Uh, really, that's what happened. Now I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable tools back. Uh, as long as they're in good condition and no problem, I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Hold on, I gotta fix my damn sound again. I'll try, uh... You can try using yours instead. Uh, after tonight. See if that fixes it. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Hmm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds like our princess is... Sounds like our... Just like our princess. Find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh. Rather make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. This is so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Oh. Sure, glad to help. Keep these tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. Also, nope, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Ah. What? I didn't say that. Ah. Well, close enough. But what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. As how about you go to work that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this cold garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. I'll be. The, it'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a, a tip for me. Put your back into it. Ah. Oh. Probably wrecked those tools if she had, had them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here, or down it. Either way, I'll help. Ah. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Oh. I got those facts we wanted, and two worked it out. Just can't write this. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into Princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. Mm. We've worked together in four cases. Um, go on, add this to your nest egg, partner. 50 more bucks. Hell yeah. I'm making money left and right now. Tracy sent along a bonus for all your hard work. Froggy sleeve, I got the freaking chest. Hell yeah, slip oh. resistance. Even on rainy days. Not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll, it'll help you reach new heights, partner. Off report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. Go along. I got the first piece of froggy gear.
I mean, I'm gonna keep the damn what's it called on for now, but. Silent Princess. That's the flower from the first game that. Mighty Thistle. Nice. That was the flower from the first game that Zelda was, uh, Electric Safina. Zelda was making a big deal about in one of the cutscenes. It's all up, up, you know, in a, in a tiffy because it was still alive. Alright, I don't think I grabbed, I didn't grab a teleport for that, so now I gotta figure out, I gotta go back up the river. Oh, I'm gonna do that. I don't have my horse. Oh, I get bonus energy for sleeping in that bed, too. Wow. $50 bed's real nice. Yo, there's a thing up on that island. Can I climb that route, maybe? Alright, let's head back. Grab the shrine near the horse stable. I think I'm too far away from my horse to summon it. I don't want any thanks. No solicitors. I'm not interested. An asshole. Trying to throw bombs at me and shit. Who do you think he is? Oh, hey, Choose. Bye, Choose. Tuka Rock. The old Tuka Rock shrine, you know, like you do. Oh, I wonder if that shrine is a clue. Because it's up on that rock and there's this big roots coming out of it. I wonder if that's that shrine's supposed to clue you in that the light roots are connected to the rock, to the shrines. Forward force. All right, it's a get the ball in the hole shrine. The hole is the goal. I love getting in the hole. And that's the goal. Lava. And a ball and a car. My thing didn't want to work for some reason. Okay. Does the car drive over the lava? It sure does. I feel like that's useful knowledge to have when I go to the mountain area. I need to go up there. I need to get the ball up there. With a tire? How the hell? Uh. Wait. 
Okay, if I attach this, that doesn't get me up there though. Maybe it has to walk like a paddle? Can't see what I'm doing. But like if I do this, if I attach this to the tire, does that work? <laughs> And then we'll put the ball on this, so it's not in the way. Does that work? I'll be damned. Well, that's fucking cool. Ah, I can't believe that works. I should use yours, it doesn't have that issue. What do you mean? this is how I get across is it like pick your own path or something like what am I I don't understand I just need to get the ball over there does it matter how I do it I have some ideas this is gonna be the dumbest way to do it I don't need no stinking puzzle. Alright? I make my own way in this world. What is going on? It wants me to like go against the water and like slowly make my way up there. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna attach that to the ball. Is it too tall? Too tall. Wait, can I... Can I just have it over there? Is that far enough? Uh, not quite. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I think it wanted me to build some kind of contraption that drives over there. But, I mean, why would I do that? Ooh, strong Zoanite sword. Hell yeah. Why would I build a contraption when I can just, you know, cheat and make a really long bridge? the ball attached 
how easy that was. Catch! Uh, do I need to stand on this? Look, I got in the hole. Are you proud of me? You like my strategy of brute forcing it with a fucking giant ass bridge instead of, you know, being creative? Maybe brute forcing it was being creative. Alright, uh, I need to find the tower, and I need to find my horse. Aw, oh, shit. Hold on, let me see where this asshole needs to go. Where is he? That's pretty far, man. Alright. Alright. Also, the reason I'm using this horse, babe, instead of the other horse is because uh, Epona can't actually, um, Epona can't actually use the, uh, the towing harness. So. Why did you keep running when I told you to stop? Customize horse. Change equipment. Uh, Towing saddle. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, Zora's domain. We're not going there. Alright, come on. Come on, horsey. Come on, horsey. Gotta go fast. On, buddy get on your mount next time I should give him a wheel put a wheel attached to him actually let's do, uh, let's do that I just want to see what it looks like with a single wheel attached Come on. there's got to be a, a wheel around here somewhere anyone got a wheel Not a wheel. A hoe and a ladle. No wheel. Aren't they supposed to have like components around here for excuse me? <laughs> you want one your own, they sell them in Kakariko Village. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it was highlighted. I had to click on it. Sorry, that's just how it is. A torch. Oh. Huh? Was It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Kushmer? You got rid of those nasty monsters. I knew it. Nasty monsters. Whoa. Amazing, thank you. I was so scared. Kid, so I don't have any money or anything. I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so... I'll give you two pony points. Whoa! Two pony points? What a reward. <laughs> Peace of mind. Thank you so much. Yo, I got I got a reward. That was a pretty good reward, I won't lie. Let's go get our reward. Pony points? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm fucking balling now. Fucking balling with my pony points. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 13 points. You get a traveler saddle. Oh, dude, that looks sick. Durable trail holds strong in all sorts of weather, which has made its favorite among travelers. Hmm. Comes with the birdle. Bridle, whatever. Standard bridle. Mine doesn't really stand. It's funny, I said a standard bridle without reading the words a standard bridle on there. I just guessed that it was going to say that. 
Three more points mm -hmm. and I get a main restyling service. Oh, dude, I'll be able to change their main. Can you imagine? Uh, all right, horse. Let's leave this place. It bores me. They don't have any wheels. Well, let me see if there's any... I thought I saw some equipment up here. Jesus Christ! That could have killed me. Coming, horse. <laughs> it's just screaming help. Oh, uh, yes, wheel. One wheel, please. Oh, man, this is going to be great. I need to reach my friend. No, no. We don't attach the wheel to that. We attach the wheel to him. That's... That doesn't work. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, hold on. Right to his face. Or, or his backpack. Okay, and then... Oh. Oh, the, that's not where the wheel... The wheel's attached in the wrong spot. It won't spin that way. Oh. My god, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, attach it right where you had it last time. Sure, we'll, we'll attach it like that. Is that gonna work? Yep. Not working. No, come, come back, you little bastard. Jesus Christ. Badass rolling away. Stay here. No! That wheel's gone forever. Gotta do something to get it up off the ground. I'm way over engineering this for like no reason. It's my own fault for attaching a fucking a single bar and expecting it to stand on its own like an idiot. Hold on, man. We're going to your friend. Give me a second. I'm trying to I'm trying to make the greatest vehicular vehicle that you've ever seen. Take this, attach it up high, and that should allow me to attach the wheel to the damn thing. Why is it trying to attach to the bottom of the wheel? You know what? Whatever. We'll 
We'll just make a damn cart. Fine. Oh, not the front of the wheel. The side of the wheel, you idiot. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Alright. Are you watching, babe? I have created the ultimate transportation device. Oh, the wheel doesn't spin. Bro. broke <laughs> all right fine I'll attach uh, like, oh no not like that come on He's just causing me all kinds of trouble. Just get on there. I give up. I give up on the wheel idea. You've ruined it. Congratulations, you ruined my wheel idea. Get on the damn stick now. Now this is your fate. Even better, I'm gonna make it even worse for you. <laughs> now you get dragged along the ground, you dumbass. <laughs> I was gonna take proper care of you and have you roll. You know, he's not actually touching the ground. He should be fine. Oh, I killed a bird. Where's the tower in this area again? Oh, up ahead. This one's not as chaotic as last time. Last time he was like bumping all over the place. And let's run over this rock. Point. Oh, shit! so bad you worked so well the first time now you're like struggling Ridiculous. How am I thinking horse is stuck with this stupid harness on? Alright, horse, stay here. I'm gonna go see if I can figure out how to get up to this shrine. Oh, 
All right, we climbed the route. I got enough stamina to get up this route. Maybe. No. No, it started raining. Quick. Put on the froggy suit. Drink the slip potion. I have double slip resistance, okay? Come on. No slippy. No! No! You gotta be fucking kidding me. It would start raining right when I go to climb something. I hate the rain in it. No! Have I got stamina potions? Oh, I do. Getting up this fucking rock. No. Come on. Yes! Fuck you, rain. There's something in there? There's a chest in there. Oh, no. Never gonna happen. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Maybe it won't be raining when I come out of the thing. I'm never getting in there with the rain. All right, let's do the shrine and see if the rain stops by the time I come out. God, I hate the rain in this game. It's so stupid. I don't know which designer was like, Hey, you know what we should do? We should have him totally slip and slide whenever it rains so he can't climb anything. And then you're basically just stuck standing around holding your, you know, dick in your hands waiting for the rain to end. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do that. A bouncy device. Oh, hell yeah. I love these fucking launchers. They're so much fun. Whee! Oh, I burned up some of my bonus stamina and I just realized... Wait, what is this? This is a bouncy device? Do I jump on it? Do I activate it? Excuse me. How do I activate it, though? Like that. Um... Hello? Oh, can I not move this? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I'm assuming I can do this. Then go... Alright. A double bouncy device? What happens when I... Wait, is there anything in here? Thank <laughs> you. 
didn't see anything up there, but what if I add a third bouncy device and then launch myself? I was about to ask if that worked out it was supposed to. Wait, what? No, that's not right. There we go. Now let's go put this back and see if it... Hey, if there's anything up here. Get me higher, but it does not look like there's anything up here. Um, okay, so where do I need to go? Up here? Pretty high up. Now the question is... How do I the ball just to go up there same time as me? I can send the ball up. Which is great and all. Wait, I have an idea. I need the ball actually I don't even I don't even think I need the ball sneaky elixir okay I think I'm bringing the ball for like no reason yeah I don't need the ball why was I trying to bring the ball with me oh my god sometimes I'm a little dumb Sometimes I'm a little stupid. Three orbs. Let's hope it's not raining anymore. Bet it's raining. Called it. Oh, look, dragon. Is that why it's raining? Because the fucking rain dragon's here? And I can't... The pro See, this is the problem with, with... This is the problem with rain in this game. Not only is it raining, but I can't light a fire because it's raining. So I can't sit and pass the time with a fire. Where's the tower? Right here. Look at this damn tower. Come on, horse. Dragging that damn thing behind you. Yeah, I know. It sucks. We'll trade you out next time we're at a... Next time we're at a stable, I'll trade you out for a... I haven't seen in a minute? Sign guy. Where did he go to? Be 
of the devil. Ask and ye shall receive sign guy. Um, did, did he build this? Oh, that's just there as like a preemptive help. Keep it upright. Perfect. It's only leaning forward a little bit. Alright, give me my money. And some food. Sneaky mushroom rice balls. Oh, I'm getting sneaky stuff because I'm near, um... I'm near, uh, fucking... Not Hatano, uh... Yep. I'm, I'm near Kakariko. And they're all like ninjas. Alright, let's go get the tower, then we'll go to Kakariko. It looks like we have a small problem over here. What's going on? Ooh. I heard that the terminal at the Skyview Tower needs repairs, so I came to fix it, but... The door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge no matter how hard I push or pull. Of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. <sighs> like getting my brain into gear for this, I bet a nearby cave would have some tasty mushrooms. Oh. Caves at the bottom of the hill... Okay, so I, you want me to fetch you fucking mushrooms so that you can open a door. Alright, bitch. Alright. Um, I have this. Is there a boulder outside? I'd rather have a boulder than a freaking... than a rock. Flash fruit. Let's look around see if we see a boulder real quick. The boulder! I do not see a boulder. Alright, rock it is. Jesus Christ. You know what? I don't have the patience for this.
You didn't like that boomerang, did ya? Traveler's Claymore, huh? Do I want a Traveler's... Sure. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Alright, where is the frog? Why? Why you gotta climb? Just hit. Are you kidding? That connected back around? Where's the frog at? Where's the damn bubble frog? Is this not the right cave? Or is it literally like up in the ceiling? smash but it just leads back to the same place excuse me. where in the fuck bubble frog I'm so lost. Is there another <laughs> cave section or something? Like... understand Girl. a hole through here oh my god oh, hey there's that boulder I wanted
Jeez. All right, let's get the hell out of here. That was so dumb. I don't even know if I picked up a mushroom. Find out. <sighs> oh. I used to go mushroom hunting in them. Why? Is there another cave? I don't understand what it wants me to do. There weren't any mushrooms. Oh, hey, there's one of the sigil or one of the things. Two of them. Oh, hey, Chaos. Use my boulder hammer. This should do a lot of damage to him. You piece of shit. Fucking juked me. Holy shit. Dude fucking juked me last second. Oh my god. Can't believe he did that. Stop being an asshole! Alright, well fuck you then. Wanna play like this? We'll play like this. Oh, you don't even got any arms right now. What are you doing? Okay, I guess my ability just doesn't want to work. Jesus. Where's your other arm, bitch? I dare you. Honestly, isn't doing that much damage. I need a better weapon. Let's use one of these on him. This one. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, hit and run, bitch. Throw an arm at me. Good fuck, nerd.
Oh, that hurts him? It is dead. Alright, now I gotta figure out what cave she... I mean, I went into the cave. There was no damn mushrooms. I don't understand what she wants. Why can't I open this tower? I already went into that cave. Let me double check, make sure there's not more mushrooms in here that I'm missing. in here see any damn mushrooms all right man enjoy your satisfactory for your baby game for babies <laughs> it is awesome yeah I'm having a lot of fun I just need to like hold a mushroom. Like give it to him. Hello? What I haven't done in a while. Saved. Did you go to the cave beneath the tower and use your ascend power? Oh, fuck me. Dude, that's... She talks about fucking mushrooms. Like, that's supposed to mean something to me. That's the dumbest shit ever. Oh, my fucking god. I, I want a divorce. Yeah, I guess I'm stupid for not thinking about ascend, but fuck me, man. That's the dumbest shit ever. Let me guess. Right in this room is is where I need to ascend. Fuck me, man. What? It's so simple. I would have thought of it if that stupid bitch hadn't said something about fucking mushrooms. She got me all fucked up talking about mushrooms. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Probably could have set those on fire, too. No, I don't want the long stick. Could it be? Did you fix it for me? Can't believe the couple of sticks just caused all this hassle. <laughs> mm. 
mechanisms aren't quite working right. I'll get, I'll just give them a bit of oil. Uh. Ta da! Bye. All right, here we go. Activate tower. Teleport. Prepare for launch. Some weird storm clouds there. Surface map updated. My map updated. Wait. Do I want to try to get to the Sky Islands? I don't know that I can. It's pretty far away. Uh, let's just... back down get my horse and move on with my life <laughs> all right let's go to the village What is this? Yep. Okay. Huh. 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 Village. Come to see the ring ruins too? Might have been into each other. You're running around the village seeing the sights. If you want to learn about the ring ruins, be sure to ask the Zonai survey team people here or the village chief. You'll find her and a few team members under one of the ring ruins on the the ones floating on the north side of the village. Ring Ooh. ruins? Yeah, they're the most amazing sight to see in Hyrule. All the ruins that fell everywhere. These ring shaped ones are only in this village. Five of them. They found a stone slab with Zonai riding four of the ruins. Ancient messages are the main reason I came to this village. Hmm. Problem is, I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs start shaking if I'm even on the second floor of a house. They'll somewhere high up. Yeah. One of the ruins is floating above part of the village, so at least I can see it from below. The other four, though, forget about it. I can't even get close. Wish I could find what's on, what's on the stone slabs in each of those ruins. All right. Let's go explore. What do you got? A crew to eyeballs, a crew to wings, arrows, arrows. Frog? Oh. Hmm. Lord 
Laurelin oh. Village. My hometown. Talk your ear up. Laurelin Village is a small fishing town on the south what eastern coast. So bottom right. Yeah, out of the way, but it has shops and such you'll find only there. Our village is a lovely place. Oh. Then it was seized by pirates, and everyone had to abandon the village. The villagers all are scattered all over now. The leader of the village is desperate to save Lorelan, but who knows what'll happen. Didn't mean to take it in such a dark direction. Ah. And goodbye. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, now I don't have to feel quite so bad. I guess you sell food items. Uh, you don't have anything but one bird egg. You know what? Uh, sure, I'll talk to you, because there might be some more. Hi. <sighs> this place is busy driving off monsters. Gone off to the ring ruin that's among the hills that lead west of the village. But as you can see, we've almost run out of the goods. Oh. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. The well, they're away, the more worried I get. Roger's Quarrel. Right? Not by any time. Just the inn. Hey. Welcome, friend. Was I like feeling heavy? Then you've come to the right place. Pick any bed in the inn. It's yours for paltry. Ten thousand rupees. <laughs> I don't even work here. I stopped by hoping to catch some Z's, and the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said he had to go make the beds in the survey team tents. He'd be right back. Uh, mm. I don't think he's coming back. Why don't you look for him? But there are four tent camps in this village, and only one me. Oh. Could you maybe track down the owner and tell him to come back already? <sighs> come across some sleepy-looking guy spacing out. You found your man. You should mark your visit to the ring ruins of Kakariko and Kakariko Village. How about a ring garland? They're made with lots of love and they're only five rupees each. What's a ring garland? Decorations, I mean, using flowers and plants and things. After the ring ruins fell from the sky, Kakariko Village got much busier. Part of everyone's lives now, and even more part of our village. So I started making garlands that took look like the ring ruins and hope they bring people together even more. Make lots of people happy, so I'm only charging a little bit. Sure. Ah. Put extra love to it. Mwah. Oh, how cute. Ah. Here you go. I mean, is it in my inventory? No. The item? No, I guess it was just for funsies. Wait, wait, where are you going? You almost walked off without your ring garland, silly. Oh, I have to pick it up. The hell am I supposed to do with this? Can I put it on my horse? Um, sorry, little girl. I don't know what to do with that. Hey, a shrine's here. If I had my things. Checking out the village. Look around. See what we got. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Golden apple. Nice. Those are pretty rare. The well?
I love that you can still hear the music. Well, there's some ruins in here. Muted. Eightfold blade. Attack up plus five. That is a nice weapon. Did that do something when I picked up that apple? Read the tighter notebook. My beloved husband always gives it his all when working service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and good spirits. That's why I made him a tough meat stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. I was thrilled that he kept saying it was so tasty and going back for more. Hope it filled his heart as well as his stomach. My little Col Coltla? Perfect girl. I love her very much. She's truly the apple of my eye. Speaking of apples, she seems to have quite the taste for hot buttered asshole. I mean, apple. Like an adorable little squirrel always stuffing her cheeks full of them. If I, could, if I could, I would cook endless amount of apples and goat butter to keep my little one happy. Coco is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since daughter one was born, daughter two doesn't Ever whine or complain anymore? Or no, daughter two was born. Daughter one doesn't whine. She's so strong and so wonderful. Luckily, mommy knows that Coco loves energizing honeyed apples. It's that difficult to collect honey, but so long as I carry a fire with me, the bees won't attack. Here, let's let's try this pumpkin recipe. Curious. We go. Fresh meat. I'm going to use the prime meat. Or main meat. Uh, let's use the prime. Yeah. Yeah, we'll use the, the gourmet. We'll just give it a try. One pumpkin, one meat. <laughs> Tough meat stuffed pumpkin. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I still want to be in the village when I come out. That's why I'm over here. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, there she is. Thank you for the biddies, baby. <coughs> what to do at this rate? Grandmother's health isn't going to. Oh, and Clary shall be running the clothing shop. I just had to do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandmother. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. I forgot to go to the grocery store. Shit. Alright, well, I got enough Cokes to last me till tomorrow afternoon, so... I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. See, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now, too. I've been trying to mix the ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better, and I need to do it soon. Porridge? My grandmother's favorite. Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. 
mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. I bought a bunch of holly and milk and or holly and rice and milk from the merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those. But I still haven't found that crucial ingredient that fights the gloom. Hmm. I remember I was cleaning East Hill survey team when she first noticed the chasm. Gloom. Tried to look, she got exposed. Counteracts gloom sitting there somewhere out there. Forge that works on gloom sickness. Okay, well, I don't have any milk or... I can get rice from here, but I don't know where to get milk. Pinky River Snail. Can I get... I need... Milk. But she didn't sell milk, right? Yeah, all you have is egg. person had something. Oh, wings and arrows. Alright, well, I can't do it yet. Maybe later. Clothing store. What do you got? Stealth tight. 5,000 rupees? Jesus fucking Christ. Radiant mask. Radiant shirt. These don't even do anything special. Yeah, fuck you. $5,000? I don't even care about your quest if you've got one. Um, oh. Hey, um, I hate to be the bear of bad news, but your house has a hole in it. <laughs> While Toro and I were taking a break, he asked me, Hey, Callop, what attracted you to join the Zonai survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man in the name of Toro. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I long to continue. Dullard, you know, many grasp the breath of my vision. Fortunately, nothing can pass my lips. I'm certain that Toro and no one else is the man who can world to my real worth. Toro's done nothing but surprise me since I joined. One day I arrived at the research site. Bear. Sitting on the bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. Ah, Callop, sorry, I didn't notice you working overtime today, huh? Thought back to the night before as I was heading in and saw Toro sitting on the bare earth examining the stone slab. Stayed up all night. Passing time escaped his notice. I'm after single generation blah 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 but I won't be so easily satisfied my discovery is noteworthy five volt line marks Callop Valley Callop River Callop Hills yeah okay buddy yeah uh you know it oh Oh. Tablet that fell from the sky. Look out landing. I managed to decipher an inscription on it using my notes. Mm -hmm. Here's what it says. One's held why honor alas uh, Hotchmaid to King Raru and Queen Sonya. Thereafter to his duster on to Princess Zelda. Her on thy great stand and twelfth mo withal make why indict men time with the royal family. So mighty heroes remembrance preserved for the sake of him on who our hopes rests. Mm. How much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonya. Founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. Author finished up saying that she We'll write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Ah. Royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or some other equivalent station. Zelda. No record of anyone by that name. 
so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. Ooh. Written here must be the start of the first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Notice the number 13 there. 12 more stone tablets to be found. Oh. <sighs> There's so much we could learn here on King Raru, Queen Sonya, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. 12 stone tablets left. Fascinating. Oh. Oh, take pictures of them. Okay. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Okay, so take pictures of the tablets. Gotcha. I wish I'd have known that when I was on them earlier. Yeah. Oh, I remember her. Was oh, that you, Master Link? She had a crush on me. So happy that I get to see you again. Aya, Chief of Kakariko Village. And yeah, she had a thing for Link before. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Princess uh -huh. is still missing. That just confuses the matter more, you see. I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the evil Princess Zelda came here to Kakariga Village. She ordered us all to stay away from the ring ruin that floats up uh, above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess right before my eyes. Yeah. Hmm. She left as soon as she arrived. It wasn't able to ask her anything more about these unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm, but ruin doesn't look like it could crash down any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect, at least. Mm. Still, I know you'd not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. My apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, team member of the Zonai Survey Team. Ah. The ring runes that fell on our village. Ah. Deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. Incredible, talented individual. Huh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that the stone slab with writing was found at each site. Ciphering the text shows that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the rune floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. <sighs> I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. Only I can meet with her again. I'm sure we can persuade her to change her mind. Huh. I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the princess we met. If anything, if everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm -hmm. We must have some reason. Until we find our Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Yeah, I'm not leaving that ruin alone. I need to go in there. What are you doing? <clears throat> princess Zelda, everyone is strictly forbidden getting close to that ring. Certainly applies to amateur like you. Ooh. She left sort of reason why. I mean, can I just... Yeah. Okay. Don't tell nobody I'm sneaking in. Can't they can't stop all of us. It's gonna stop me, isn't it? Let's get up here so I can fly. 
I'll glide into this bitch. Oh, hey, there's a thing over there. There's a capsule over there, too. Come on! Bro, I'm in the air. That's such bullshit. Shut up. Man, that's dumb. Chief for my grandmother. Naturally, I still have a long way to go. Blah, blah, blah. Big changes for our village. You now, tourists come in. Can you believe it? Ring runs will be here at Cornerstone. On a tragedy. Or two. But I want into the ring ruins, okay? Just give me into the ring ruins. Why won't you let me in? Why won't you let me love you? Alright, well, I guess we can at least try to get up there to the shrine so I have a teleport. Iron shrooms, okay. Akasura Shribe? Shrine? Why does it say Shribe? Alright. An upright device. Um. Okay. What are these? Oh, it always writes itself. Interesting. Okay, that's kind of cool. And now it's high enough for me to fly across. Interesting device. I can't reach it. I, I gotta get over there somehow. Um. Almost worked. <laughs> and there's the static. Okay, so the top is fucking me. What 
if I do this? That's one way to do it. Attached it like an idiot. I'm stupid. Really? Really game? Didn't fix it. How did I not fix it? Alright. I think there's a chest or anything about right. All right, I did it. I'm the greatest. <sighs> that's four, that's a heart. Huh. Don't patronize me. I'm losing steam fast. I think that's uh, about time to... Whoa, dragon. You're very close, dragon. Adra. I got the dragon. Alrighty then. 
gumball machine over there. <laughs> yep, if only you could fly. Other ring ruin research journal Cory. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell in the plateau south of the village also held the stone slab with Zonai inscriptions. Flower growing in the ruined likes of which we'd never seen. That it was a sun to lion, a plant long thought extinct. Our local plume, orchard for our cultivation efforts, and hoping our studies prove pro 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 fruitful. Jesus Christ. Our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah, about that. Me. I like this gambling machine, this this slot machine, because I win every time. Huh. Look at all these. Oh, look at that. Stabilizers. Those could be useful. Big wheels. Let's go. Stabilizers and big wheels. Available here. I need at least four big wheels to be able to make a car. Looking for big wheels. There, there was two big wheels. Three even. This ring ruins. Finally made it to some ring ruins. Thank. Slab and Southern Ring Ruins, some translation notes. Who protect of Hyrule from the Demon King together? King. They were known as Sages. Last of Hyrule's days. And like. There were those known as Sages who protected the Kingdom of Hyrule from the Demon King. So this is one of the ring ruins. There's another. There's one down here. One there. This one that I can't go to. I should go up to that big one. Or to that one. It'll let me go here, but I can't get up to it. That's stupid. Oh, let me reel in so I never introduce myself properly. Sorry about that. Once again, my name is Charles. I'm here at Papaya's request to investigate the ruin that fell around this village. Mm. Floating ring ruin. It's hard to thing to ask of us, but she's a princess. Mm. Four of the ring ruins around the village. Most of them broke apart on inside. Inside, intriguing stone slab. Uh. These slabs will be key unlocking the mysteries of Zonai civilization. Oh, so is this one right here?
Is this the one I was just in? No. Can't be. Some ring ruin, some translation notes. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. Light holds the power, secret stone, and that person dwell within power, amplify, great might, display. The thrust of the message in this slab is about something called secret stones. Those who have power such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light, and time amplified them with secret stones. They used the stones to gain great might to accomplish their goals. That's what I'm guessing would say if we could read the whole thing. Oh, this is the pit. This is the biggest malice hole there is. Holy shit. That one's massive. Alright, so this is a ruin. That's a ring. That's a ring. That's two. This is three. This is four. And the fifth one is the floating one. Okay, good to know. Wake up. Oh, please wake up. A sag Uru's not far off, and if he finds out someone's been sleeping in one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, I'll be the one who gets it. Slab? <laughs> yes, stone slabs are well slabs, like the one this guy's sleeping on. Survey team discovered one these slabs in each of the ring ruins sites here. Ring above ah. us. I'm able to read Zonai writing and says the text on the slab is a record of a historic fight. One that was between the great king of that era and the demon king. Ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned the mighty foe. This also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. He was running here and the upheaval just happened. Those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time. You can read the decipher reading for yourself. It's all right next to the slab. Where's the inn owner? Oh, the owner is him. That's that guy there. He came to change our beds, but then I realized he'd fallen sound asleep. I tried shouting and then shaking him. Nothing. Mm. I just pop the stone slab. Truffle now and then. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. Mm. Hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. You want me to go get a specific ah. hearty truffle? It was bobbing under that waterfall. I don't know if somebody dropped a truffle there or if it floated in from somewhere else. <sighs> you want me to go get a specific truffle? Oh man, what? Why? The Demon King's vast power, no hope, victory. King's own life managed to imprison him. Prison not indefinitely. Prepare demon revival. They just must leave our knowledge to future generations. Sometimes it seems to be a record how the king in those days challenged the demon king. I had to extrapolate this meaning, I'd guess, at something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. They just tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the demon king's revival. Okay. I gotta come back up here anyways. Stupid ass truffle. I don't see no damn truffle.
What the hell is he on about? <laughs> Was it underneath? And it's fucking raining. God damn it, man. Fuck, why does it rain every five fucking seconds in this stupid game? Jesus Christ, I pressed the wrong fucking button. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna quit. I'm feeling a little burnout right this second, and I'm like sitting here struggling to find the energy to keep going. So, thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be me done for the day. Bye.